Had lunch with a lawyer. Downtown at the bar building, I got the keys to the foyer. With you being GSU, being smart is a vibe. If you believe in education, then point and subscribe. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I am hip hop artist Frankie Boz, and I got the keys to the educators, and I wear this hat because I'm educated. And before I take you to school, I'd like to remind you to stay tuned to my debut television show, The Frankie Bars Show, aired on DCTV. That's RCN 10, Comcast 95, and Verizon 11. And the current episode that's out now, airing on DCTV, is called Photography and Policy. That is episode four that you can also catch on my YouTube channel as you are open to subscribe. Now, as we enter into the classroom, I'd like to share with you today about education and what is education and the different aspects and perspectives of education between D.C. and Atlanta, Georgia. So I'm gonna let you hear from three educators, two educators in Washington, D.C., and one educator in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, before I tell you their names and what they do and how they serve in the capacity of education, I'd like to talk about the definition of education. Now, education, in my own words, I would say comes from the word educo, which means to educe. In the Italian, it's spelled educo, E-D-U-C-O. And to educe, means to draw out. It means to draw out from within. So to educate means to develop or educate or to draw out or pull out the full potential that lives with inside you. To be educated means that you have developed or you have drawn out the power from within. Now I'm gonna let you hear from Zachary Parker. Now, Zachary Parker is a member of the State Board of Education of Ward 5, Washington, D.C., representing the parents and the teachers of Ward 5, Washington, D.C. Then I'm also going to let you hear from Frazier O'Leary. Now, Frazier O'Leary is a member of the State Board of Education in Ward 4, Washington, D.C., representing the parents and the teachers of Ward 4 area of Washington, D.C. Then I'm gonna take you to Atlanta, Georgia, and you're gonna meet QB. Now, QB is a professor at Georgia State University, and this professor at Georgia State University, Mr. QB, is going to share with you different aspects of what education is and its connection to drawing out the power within the students of Atlanta, Georgia and beyond. So let's go ahead and hear from our three educators between Atlanta, Georgia and Washington, D.C. As far as literature, also being books being as a window into other cultures and ethnicities. So as a black male also, you know, I may want to be, I want to be curious about how the Asian culture um, supports education. So I may see a book that shares a window or a view into how um, that Asian culture supports education. And more of a sliding glass door, sliding glass door also, which we have to think about that. Sometimes we may not want people to see our culture, to see our true values. We're going to slide that door and close that door quite often. So um, understanding that books have the ability to open ourselves into cultures and different cultures and also closing that door to different cultures as well. So I think literature is one of those really big important pieces that not only helps students acquire language and acquire literacy skills, but it's a way that students can not only learn about themselves and their background and their culture, but also explore themselves and the culture around them. The early childhood education in the District of Columbia is really getting better, all right? 
and we've got a program that's about to start with zero to three, so that six month old uh, children can will be serviced by the schools. I'm all for that. I think it's fabulous with making sure that the students who for whom English is a second language that they they are serviced just as the students who are native speakers, and that the early childhood uh, program prepares students. So by the time they get to the first grade, they're on grade level. Because the problem we have at the high school level is a lot of our students are at elementary, well maybe not, well, elementary reading level or middle school reading level. And we have to pull them up in a year as a senior. If I have a senior who's reading at a sixth grade reading level in September, and in June when that person graduates is reading at a ninth or 10th grade level, and has raised the reading level five grade levels in one year, mm -hmm. that's really growth. That's yeah. a fabulous growth, but it's not looked at on the impact. Education to me simply means access, opportunity, to a quality instruction that is going to propel our students to be able to choose the college of their choice or the career of their choice. Uh, education to me represents equity because for too long our school system has been inequitable in regards to the number of opportunities that we've provided to our students. Education um, to me represents the anchor of our community, the promise that we've made to families and children in this country about uh, the value and the inherent right of U.S. citizens to a quality education that's going to set them up for success in life. And so my campaign is an embodiment of that promise. Um, it is an embodiment of the inherent respect and value that we have placed on teachers and parents and community members and business owners to say, uh, as a community, we're going to come together to support our schools, improve our schools, uh, and rally around our students. Because at the end of the day, that's what really matters, our students. And whether they go to a charter school or a district school, whether they're in high school or whether they're in pre-K, all of our students deserve the opportunity and right to have access to a quality education. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for connecting with our educators, letting them educate you. And now it's time for Frankie to take you to school. Cause you know I am the Fedra Douglas of rap. And I'm passionate about keeping the books in school. Out of War 5, I elevated. Frank, wet as hat cause I'm educated. Clean the buses, got my hands dirty. Wet as hat cause I'm dedicated. On the phone, planning meetings with Zachary Parker. I tell the market as if I was with Gamble and Proctor. War 5 State Board, we knew we would win. Once his term's up, maybe he'll do it again. Journalist and reporter of O'Leary, a supporter. Emily Gasoy, I support her. At the town hall, drinking water. In the cut in the corner. Had lunch with a lawyer. Downtown at the bar building, I got the keys to the foyer. With you being GSU, being smart is a vibe. If you believe in education, then point and subscribe. Yeah. If you smart and educated, then point and subscribe. Uh, and now with QB and GSU being smart is a vibe. Yes, I wear this hat because I am the Federal Douglas of rap and I got the keys to the school system. And for all y'all out there watching this, I want you to subscribe to the channel if you believe in keeping the books in the schools so the children can read and enhance and empower and elevate their imagination and their mainframe.